Hello everyone, this is Tian Meng from National University of Singapore. I'm very pleasant to present our work on 60 object pose estimation. This work was done with Panel, Marcelo, and Kim He. The task of 60 object pose estimation aims to detect each object instance in the scene, as well as estimate its orientation and location in the camera corner frame. Accurate pose estimation is an important foundation for many applications, such as robotic manipulation, grasping, and augmented reality. There is a light body of work focusing on 60 object pose estimation. They have covered different input modalities, including RGB depth and RGBD. Objects that are well textured or textureless, occluded or not, are also extensively studied. Given that our main contribution is on resolving the rotation ambiguity caused by symmetric objects, we would like to highlight how previous work deals with this ambiguity during training. Identical images of symmetric objects might have different rotation labels. It could raise a problem during training. To solve this problem, BBH restricts the label range of symmetric objects to avoid ambiguity. However, it introduces an additional classifier in order to handle the boundary case. Another approach is to generate multiple hypotheses, where possible setting is needed to retrieve the 60 poles during inference. The third approach is the sheet match loss proposed in pole CN. Although sheet match loss is easy to implement and needs no actual effort during inference. The network is prone to local optimum after the training is converged, as can be seen in the finger. These results are generated by post-CN, dense filtering, and over implementation. While adopting different network architectures, all three networks are supervised by shift match loss. Predictions that are only locally optimal are commonly seen in their results. The reason is that this loss minimizes the distance between closest point pairs if the object is symmetric, which is like the ICP algorithm. To mitigate the local optimum problem of ship match loss, we take the inspiration that ICP works effective if a proper initialization is given. We propose a discrete continuous formulation for rotation estimation. We first uniformly sample rotations in the whole SO3 space. These sample rotations are referred to as anchors and used to initialize our prediction. Then we predict the deviation delta r at each rotation anchor. The final prediction at i's anchor is obtained by multiplying the residual rotation delta ri and the anchor ri hat. To constrain the range of the radial rotation such that the final prediction at each anchor stays within its local vicinity, we add another regularization term to a loss function. The radial rotation is penalized if the final prediction is closer to any other anchor than its corresponding anchor. The general idea of our formulation is that each anchor is only responsible for local region and all anchors jointly cover the whole rotation space. The remaining problem is how to select the correct one among all the predictions. This is achieved by predicting an uncertainty score for each anchor. During inference, the prediction with smallest uncertainty score is selected as our final output. We integrate the shift match loss and the uncertainty score into a Laplace distribution, the uncertainty score could be automatically trained by minimizing the negative log likelihood. To estimate the translation, since our input is RGBD image, we extend the 2D ransack based voting to 3D space. At each foreground point, our network predicts a unit vector pointing to the object center. During inference, Randomly select two points and their associated directing vectors defined two 3D lines. 
A hypothesis is generated by taking the midpoints of the shortest line segments between two lines. Both are accumulated over all foreground points. Our approach has two stages, instant segmentation and post estimation. In the first stage, we use off the shelf instant segmentation network to detect each of the instance and get the foreground mask. With the obtained mask, we crop an image patch around the object as the harder input to our post estimation network. We additionally convert the depth map to a point cloud by projecting the foreground pixels. A fully convolutional network is used to extract per pixel dense color features from the input. Only those features belong to foreground pixels are selected and lifted to higher dimension. We use a network similar to PointNet to extract per point geometric features. Then the color features and geometric features are concatenated in a pixel to point manner. We design two separate branches for translation and rotation. The translation branch takes both local and global features to predict per point directing vectors, while the rotation branch only takes a global feature to predict the radial rotation and the uncertainty score for each anchor. At last, we chose rotation with the smallest uncertainty score and use 3D ransack based voting to find the location. 60 poles is finally recovered for the detected object. We conduct ablation studies on NIMO dataset to validate our design of the network. Starting from this fusion, we incrementally implement our new components. Both 3D ransack based voting and the discrete continuous regression could boost the performance of the network. As expected, the performance is increasing along with the number of rotation anchors. Compared with other state-of-art methods, our method achieves the highest accuracy if there is no refinement. In the future, we would like to consider incorporating pole refinement into our approach to further improve the performance. Our main argument is that our rotation regretting strategy could alleviate the local optimal problem of ship match loss. To validate this argument, we evaluate whether our approach could have a better performance on the symmetric objects or YCB video dataset. As can be seen in the figure, our method performs better than post-CNN and dense fusion with or without refinement. A more interesting observation is that when the rotation error is small, post refinement could effectively refine the rotation. When the rotation error is large, it performs no better than its baseline. This is a strong indication that post CNN and dense fusion are suffering the local optimal problem. Since ICP and iterative refinement train with shift match loss fail to refine the rotation. However, our approach consistently works better, meaning that our approach could effectively alleviate the local optimal problem. Comparing with other state-of-the-art methods on YCB video dataset, our method is only inferior to the dense fusion with iterative refinement. Additional qualitative results also show that our approach could give correct rotation predictions when positioning and dense fusion only give predictions that are locally optimal. For more information on our work, please visit our project webpage. Thank you very much.